Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be looking at the Lament, which is the new exotic sword that just came out after the raid was completed. Now, real quick, before I start talking about the Lament. So before we start with the video, I just wanted to let you guys know that a high percentage of people that watch my videos are not subscribed according to my analytics. So if you could do me a favor and subscribe, hit that bell notification, I would very much appreciate it. If you like my content, if you like just me in general, that would really help me out. So on with the video. So with that out of the way, I need to basically put up spoilers. This is heavy spoilers. There's a lot of story th th in th this, this, this quest step quest line. So if you haven't completed the campaign, you're definitely not going to be able to get this weapon. And if you just want to know the story and kind of delve in yourself and not get spoiled, then leave right now. This is the one only spoiler warning I'm going to give you because once I start talking about it, that's it. I don't care. So yeah, let's look at the guide real quick. So first and foremost, you're going to go to Banshee. Banshee's going to tell you that he's having these weird memories. Pick up the quest and the quest is going to tell you to find three exos. I'm going to give you a small video of just the three that I found. Uh, there's definitely a lot more, but, but, but I'm just going to give you three just so you guys can continue on. If you guys want an exo video, then either find it or I might make one, but I might not make one. I'm really not liking that idea. So I will be right back. So once you find the three exos, it's going to tell you to find a giant exo, which is essentially, which is essentially Clovis Bray, the first, if I remember correctly, uh, he or his AI. So essentially, you're going to want to go to where he usually is. If you guys don't know, I'll, pr I'll definitely have the video up right now. Uh, I'll be right back again.
So once you talk to Clovis Bray, he's going to tell you that, hey, you uh, insert, I don't remember off the top of my head. The next quest is going to be the one that's probably going to take you the longest because you have to kill 100 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 Minotaur and Hydras or Sopses with swords as well. And only red bar enemies count. So what I ended up doing was I ended up just going to a certain lost sector in Europa, which is called the Perdition, if I remember correctly. Yeah, Perdition. I ended up going to just Perdition and just going in and out a bunch of times because if I remember correctly, there is a Hydra and then three Minotaurs. So essentially four, no. There's five minutes. Min min There's a bunch. There's a bunch of stuff in there. So I just went went in and out, went in and out, started killing stuff. Honestly, just do that a bunch of times until you are done with the kill vex with swords. After that, the next step is gonna be depending on if you've completed the campaign. But since you've already completed the campaign, then you shouldn't worry about this. If you have not completed the campaign, then you have to complete the campaign. The next one is going to be the exo challenge now for me that i ended up doing the agility one which is really cool this one's not that hard uh i'll have the video up again jesus christ i'll have the video up of me completing it if you guys have not completed it yet so once you complete it you'll basically finish that quest step and then the step the sixth step will be the defeat vex with finishers this one is not that hard I you probably have to get around like 50 to 60 Vex finishers. I ended up going to Perdition again. That's just the best place to get go for Vex. And I just did that a bunch of times. And the next quest step is going to be Blade Pieces Found, which essentially means that you have to do the Glassway Strike. And at the boss, there's going to be a little... Oh man, I forget what they're called. A harpy there's gonna be a yellow barred harpy you have to kill that yellow bar harpy and then you get the sword pieces once you get the, the blade piece, you're gonna have to have to have to go to banshee again talk to banshee and banshee will essentially start saying that he remembers a few things here and there and that you have to search an abandoned bunker this one essentially means that you have to go to the eventide ruins so that you can go to the bunker e e15 lost sector and then loot the chest and then you'll get the lament blueprints from there, you get a mission which is called Reforging the Past. Probably one of my favorites. It was a lot of fun. And essentially, you have to f save Clovis Bray or Clovis' AI. And that's really it. The mission's really fun. It's a lot of fun. Uh, you go all the way down to where you saw him before, start killing stuff. And then when you get to a certain point you have to, you actually have to fix the weapon itself in the mission and then you get to use the mission it's a lot of fun it's one of my favorite weapons right now and after that mission's done you go to banshee and then that's it you got the weapon good job you did it so let's look at the weapon after all of this uh the lament let's look at the perfect jagged edge for increased damage at the cost of sword ammo enduring guard sword guard has maximized maximized efficiency and high endurance but low resistance tireless blade sword ammo granted for every other powered sword kill and then revved consumption damaging a combatant heals the wielder so intrinsic traits banshee's whale this is how to do, do, do the big dick damage this is what you have to do so press and hold to rev the blade uh, my melee is the one of the side buttons that's why it has that weird thing Increase the damage shield by SS and adds shield piercing to all attacks. Gain stacks when dealing damage with revved attacks and additionally, additional stacks increase the damage and damage resistance to of heavy attacks. So essentially, I really usually don't do this, but let me see. I say I usually don't do this, but I do do this a lot. Let's see, hopefully I have ammo. I do have ammo, enough. All right, so now that I'm right here, You'll, you guys are gonna see something that kind of angers me a little, but it's fine. It's just not that big of a deal. So regular hits, we'll do a regular usual, you know, that's how usually the swords work. If you wanna do the, the way he actually does damage, then you have to actually dodge, which you guys will see Banshee's Whale. Then you start attacking and then do that. Once you do that, so each hit when you do uh, Banshee's Whale, each hit of these will give you buffs 
or stacks of a buff. Once you hit like a certain amount, me usually I'll hit to, like around three to four. Then you do your heavy, which will do this really cool animation. That one right there. You can also activate this in air as well. So if you're like hitting a boss and you get in the air by accident, don't worry. Just keep doing the same thing and, and, and you'll eventually be able to like do this really cool like air thing. Let me see if I can actually do it. No, I can't. I don't think I can. Oh, I think it's that. Yeah. So you'll be able to do really, really cool shit. Again, like I said, I highly recommend you like start getting the timing down because this is the sword's gonna be really good for certain bosses in the new raid uh, or in the old raid. Actually, I want to see what they pe what people would be using this with Riven. This probably will destroy her because this actually does a lot more damage than Guillotine. I don't know if it does more damage than the OG Guillotine before the nerf, but it's definitely it would definitely be on par, and I wouldn't like think that's weird. Mm -mm. Yeah, see? It's definitely finicky as fuck. But yeah, that's the weapon. Let's, uh, let's talk about viability. This weapon is probably going to be really viable in high-end content. And it's really weird considering I was saying that, oh, I don't think this weapon's going to be good in high-end activities because of it being a sword and all this other shit. If you guys remember in my video where I was looking at some of the weapons, I was wrong, wrong, wrong. This definitely is gonna be very good considering you actually do get health for damaging enemies with the sword. So that is gonna be really good. The fact that it can basically destroy shield is also really good. I definitely love this sword uh, in PVE. I definitely, I definitely think this is going to be a staple in a lot of high-end activities just because of the damage output it does do it does a lot of damage it scares me a little actually all right so unfortunately i don't have much ammo but i will show you guys what i can so rev it up and then hit and that's really it and that was only with four ammo my guy granted this enemy is not like that crazy of a above our enemy but the fact that i took him down with only four four ammo with this is pretty insane needless to say this weapon this weapon's really good i definitely highly recommend you guys get this especially if you like to run high and stuff or the new raid this weapon is definitely really good for the second phase of the new raid because you can melt the, the boss really quick and if you guys don't know that one specifically you really need to do as much damage as you can to each of the bosses so the more damage you do the faster you do that and this weapon does a great job at it uh let's talk about pvp because i know people are going to ask me pvp it's it's a sword it's i wouldn't recommend it uh def definitely, definitely, definitely kill like, like some guardians out of their supers but it's just i would not recommend doing that at all uh if you're if you want yeah i guess i just i personally wouldn't do it i could see maybe some benefits like maybe oh people would say well, yeah, from, from 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 damaging enemies from it i guess yeah that depends how much health you get it just depends too many on too many uh things so for me i wouldn't use it but that's pretty much it. The sword's uh, it's viable. It's fucking gr gross. It's really, it's really gross, guys. I highly recommend you guys scoop it up. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, I'll let things are in the description below. Thank you, everyone, for the support. I really do appreciate it. Uh, and other than that, we'll see you guys later.